Good morning, it's Alex here from Ninja Teacher and we're off to Banner Hills right now. So we just got the tickets and it was 1140 for the entrance with the cable car and a buffet lunch. You can do it without the buffet lunch for I think 860,000. And it's actually pretty busy here. You can see there's a lot of people. It's the last day of the Tet Lunar New Year holiday. So it is gonna be pretty busy up there, I think. But let's have a look and see how it goes. This here actually looks like the Hue Imperial Palace kind of design. I don't know if they're just trying to copy that look. So it turns out it's really packed. Look at that. <laughs> so busy. Should have realized this, that it's gonna be so busy on the last day of the New Year holiday. Um, don't know why it didn't cross my mind. But apparently it's quite big up there, so once we get up there, I'm sure it'll be fun. The four sets of cable cars, that's crazy. Okay, we're going up in the cable car. Look at that, there's a nice waterfall right there behind us. And this is an impressive cable car. It goes up really high. I think this is the longest cable car I've ever seen. We've been going for like 10 minutes. 5,800 meters in length. That's like five kilometers. So there you go, it's the longest cable car in the world. It almost feels like we're underwater or something. Yeah. It's uh, quite trippy. Okay, so we made it to the top and it is noticeably colder up here. And we're up in the clouds. Okay, so now we're in the French village part of Banner Hills. And look at that, it's really odd. It feels like you're in a little European town in the middle of Vietnam. This guy's just having some coffee there. And then there's like a Lotteria right over there, which is fast food restaurants. It's really weird. So I knew this place had this European vibe up here, but it's really quite impressive, the scope of it. These are all massive buildings and alleys and streets. I wasn't expecting it to be so big and literally it feels like I'm in a completely different place. At the same time, it kind of feels a little fake, you know, just the finishings and everything. Almost like you're on a movie set. They even built a cathedral here, so it's like a complete replica of a town. Yeah, I was kind of worried that it wasn't going to be so great with the clouds, but it's actually even nicer, I think, like, it feels more authentic. So it looks like this ride here called the Alpine Coast is closed, but I went on one of these in Dalat. I think it's in the Dalat videos that I made, so if you want to go see what those look like go check that video out. And now we're in Jurassic Park. What's up, bro? T-Rex. What is that supposed to be? <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for. So this is the buffet here that's included with the tickets and uh, it looks pretty good, about to go get some now. And uh, there's a whole beer hall kind of thing going on here, German beer hall I guess. Yeah, they're really going for this European vibe here. This place is so random. <laughs> what was that? Okay, we're taking a cable car now to the Golden Bridge. It's 
So this is one of those like expectations versus reality things. As you can see, it's a little cloudy. You can see why it's a popular spot. Everyone wants to get the photo, but I mean, it's really packed like sardines up here. So you aren't gonna get a, at least if you come on a holiday like this, you aren't gonna get a photo of like just you on the bridge. If you came during the week maybe, but this is it, the Banner Hills Bridge. Pretty packed, a lot of people. Amazing, man. So I was thinking how to describe this place because it's not really an amusement park. So I looked on the website and it says a recreational complex. So I guess that's what we have here, a recreational complex. There's a few rides and stuff, but it's not really an amusement park. Pretty hard to describe what it is. I guess it's easiest just to show you through these videos, but this is it. This is what Banner Hills is. So what did I think, is this worth coming to? Well, if you get the combo with the buffet, you're paying an extra 300,000 for the buffet. So if you want a big meal up here, you know, that's uh, something you can do, get the buffet. If you want to do it without, then it's 840,000, which is $35. And hey, it just depends. Like, do you like the idea of a, uh, you know, fake European village on top of a mountain in Vietnam? Uh, it's kind of fun. I mean, there's interesting stuff to see. Uh, this was a very busy day, I think. Might be nice to come when it's a little bit quieter. It's definitely one of the weirdest things I've seen in Vietnam and done here. So yeah, for like $840,000, $35 for a day trip, something to do. The cable car is really cool. You can see them flying through the clouds there. It's the uh, longest cable car in the world, so that's cool and that's included. So yeah, it's kind of a good time. On the other hand, you know, just a little bit Around the corner is a waterfall that we went to the other day, which you can go to for free. So there's definitely lots of awesome, cool stuff you can do in nature if this isn't really your vibe. We went for a day trip to a waterfall and we did like a little barbecue by the waterfall, which is a lot of fun. So it just depends what sounds good to you. Uh, if you like the idea of Bana Hills, come check it out. And yeah, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more videos about teaching English abroad. And if you're interested in moving to Vietnam to start teaching English, check out ninjateacher.com and we'll get you started uh, with moving to Vietnam and teaching English in Vietnam. All right, I'll speak to you soon. Peace.